Lesson 24 of Learning the Abacus, Complementary Numbers with Respect to the Number 10 in the Hundreds Column. Now, this isn't going to be a bit harder than the last lesson. We're just adding another column of numbers. You're used to this by now. So clear your abacus, and let's get going on this, because this is the fun stuff. And let's do 364 plus 107. So put the number 364 on your abacus. 364. 364 plus 107. So we're starting over here on the left-hand side in the 100s column, and we are going to put a 1 here. Piece of cake. That one's taken care of. In the tens column, there's a zero. Do we do anything here? Nope, there's a zero in the tens column. We don't add anything to that. And over here in the ones column, there is a seven. So this is where we do the fun part. We can't add, we don't have enough beads to add a number seven. So we subtract the complement of the number seven, which is the number three. Take that away, add one here in the tens column. And what are we left with is 471. So there it is, 364 plus 107 is 471, 471. 364 plus 107 is 471. All right, here we go. Next one, 875 plus 15. Piece of cake. So, 875. Sorry, I'm kind of doing this at an angle to make it work for the camera. It's kind of hard to get the beads the way you want them. But So there we go, 875 plus 15. There is nothing in this one in the hundreds column. There's a zero there. And in the tens column, there's a one with the number 15. So all we have to do is just slide up that bead to add one in the tens column. And in the ones column, we need to add a five. And there is not enough beads. So that means we subtract the complement up here with that heavenly bead. And we add one here to the tens column. Did you catch that? So 875 plus 15 is 890, 8, 9, and a 0. So 875 plus 15 is 890, a 8, a 9, and a 0. All right, let's do a fun one, kind of like we did in the last one. Let's see if you can get this. This is going to be fun. We're going to do 999 plus one. Now, if you're a pretty sharp kid, and I know you are, then you say, well, no, duh, that's 999 plus one. It's, it's just going to be the next number up, which is a thousand. Well, let, let's see how it works in the abacus world, all right? You probably wouldn't talk in that voice, but you'd be... Yeah, anyways, okay, so 999 plus one. Well, nothing to do here, nothing to do here, over here in the ones column. So we add one to that. Well, there's not enough beads. Okay, if we put on our abacus minds, that means we subtract one. Or we, the, the complement to the number is nine. The complement to the number one is nine. So we subtract nine here and add one here. Oh, goodness, look at that. There's not, we have to do the same thing here because there's not, we can't add one here. So again, we're subtracting the complement, 9, and adding 1 in the next column over. Whoa! Same thing again. Subtract the number 9 and add 1 in the thousands column. Whoa, we just made it to the thousands column. So 999 is 1, zero, 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 which is the number 1,000. Now, the reason that's a piece of cake problem, I know that, but one of, the, one of the neat things about this is that's probably the first time in, in this that you've done multiple carries past three columns of digits. 
So we, and we, we had 999, and we started all the way in the ones column. And when we did the ones column, oh, we had to carry the one over here, but there was already a nine. So we had to do the same thing again and carry the one to here. And then it's the same thing again until finally we run out of beads, or until we finally have a bead that we can place. A one, a zero, and a zero. So 999 plus 1 is 1,000. Let's do a couple more like that, and I think you'll have it. And we can move on to subtraction. So here we go, 255. A 2, a 5, and a 5. There is the number 255, and we are going to add to that the number 55. Okay, we don't have anything to do in the hundreds column because 55 has a zero right here. And in the tens column, we have a five. So what do we do? We subtract five and add one in the next column over, in the hundreds column. Okay, we've taken care of that. We've added the 50 of 50 and five. So now we need to do five in the ones column. Same thing again. Subtract the five and add one in the next column to the left. So 255 plus 55 is a 3, a 1, and a 0. 310. 255, 255 plus 55 is 310. Don't you love how these, ma these numbers just start magically appearing? All you have to do is memorize these complements. It's almost beautiful in a way. I like it. It's just, I love compliments. I, I know I explained this in the beginning, but it might be worth pointing out again that the word compliment is not compliment, like to give a compliment. Compliment means to make whole, to bring in and make complete. And I think it's a good feeling with the abacus when we do this because we're making numbers complete. And it's a good feeling. At least it is for me. I might be a little bit crazy, but... I think the abacus is pretty neat because of that. It's a good feeling to make things whole. All right, let's do let's do one more here. Let's let's kind of swap things up a bit. And we're going to do two we're going to do 27 plus 388. So let's put the number 27 on our abacus. And we are going to add to that the number 388. So we're going to start all the way over here in the hundreds column, and we have to put a three there. There was a zero in the hundreds column before, because remember, even though we put the number 27 there, it's filled with zeros. There's technically something there. Even though there, it's a zero, there's a zero is considered something. So we're doing zero plus three in the hundreds column. And now we need to add an 8 in the tens column. So we're going to subtract the complement because there's not enough beads here. We can't add 8 here. There's not enough beads. That means we subtract the complement of 8, which is 2. So we take away 2, add 1 in the next column over, and that one is done. Moving on to the ones column. Same thing. We're going to, there's not enough beads here, so we Subtract the complement, which is 2, and add a 1 here. So there it is. 27 plus 388 is a 4, a 1, and a 5. 27 plus 388 is 415. All right, let's do one more, and I think that will be a enough. Let's do 611 plus 199. So 6, 1, and a 1. 611 plus 199. All right, so we start over here in the hundreds column. And we add a 1 there. That's taken care of. Now we need to add a 9 in the tens column. Not enough beads. So that means we subtract the complement, which is the number 1, and then we add another bead in the next column over. All right, one more column to go. There's another 9 in the 1s column. So we subtract 
one there because there's not enough beads and the complement to the number nine is the number one. So that's why I took that one away there. And I'm going to add one more to the tens column. And there it is. 611 plus 199 is a eight, a one, and a zero. 611 plus 199 is 810. All right, go print off your worksheet and work through a few more of these problems to make things whole, to make things complete, and get used to working with that abacus. It really is a lot of fun to work with the abacus.